The Rock is one step closer to becoming the president in 2020. Now we all know The Rock is amazing, he's a great actor, and let's be honest, he's a pretty good looking guy. But does he have what it takes to become the president? Back on Sunday, a man named Keaton created a committee called Run The Rock 2020. Now clearly The Rock isn't behind this committee, and it doesn't mean that he for sure intends to run. But maybe this is the boost he needs to consider it. I mean, for all we know, Donald Trump wasn't considering running for president until he saw that episode of The Simpsons. Yeah, for all we know, that's where that started. All it takes is one sign to set the wheels into motion. Dave Leventhal, who is a senior reporter for the Center of Public Integrity, tweeted out this message to confirm. Yes, we now have an official draft at the Rock Political Committee registered with the FEC. I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this down in the comments. Do you think The Rock has what it takes to be the next president? Also, who do you think would make a better president, The Rock or Donald Trump, and why? Let me know your answers down in the comments. Hello everyone and welcome back to LP, I'm Court McGinley. I hope you had a great weekend and thanks for joining me on this beautiful Tuesday. I know Landon had an amazing weekend. For one, he got married. The wedding was beautiful and I was so honored to be a bridesmaid and stand beside my best friend as she got married. He also went to see Ed Sheeran in concert with his new wife Brittany. How cool is that? He had front row seats and Ed sang their wedding song which was perfect. And while I mean that is perfect, that's the actual name of their wedding song too. So that works. So you guys can click over here to check that out. And tomorrow they take off to their honeymoon to Italy. So here's wishing them safe travels, fun, and all of the pasta they can eat. Alright, as always we have a bunch of interesting news stories headed your way so without further ado let's get into the news. Next, ISIS has confirmed the death of leader al-Baghdadi. Over these past few months there have been reports of the leader's death with both Syrian state sources and Russian military who both reported the death. But not everyone was believing it. However, now it appears to be entirely legitimate. And it's been confirmed that he was killed in Iraq, but the cause of the death has yet to be confirmed. It's not a surprise that he is dead as he had a 20 million bounty on his head after the spread of the hate filled sermons that reportedly inspired suicide attacks across Europe. Recent evidence that's been released while making a documentary shows how the leader escaped capture in Iraq in 2013, before sending members of his personal army to different parts of the world. ISIS members have reserved a ban on speaking about their former leader. Anyone who goes against this ban will receive 50 lashes or a barbaric execution. Next, the first ever same sex Muslim wedding takes place in the UK. The two have Happy grooms, 24 year old Jahed Chahuri and 19 year old Sean Rogan have officially tied the knot. The couple have been together for two years. Jahed never had an easy upbringing and says that he was the black sheep of his family. He would constantly be bullied at school and at one point even tried to change his sexual orientation by getting a girlfriend and going on medication. But this only caused things to get worse. He would be assaulted by fellow Muslims and the word was spray painted on his front door. Then he was no longer allowed into the mosque that he had been going to for the past 15 years. He reports that he even tried to kill himself but then he met Sean. About the wedding he says, This is about showing people I don't care. My family doesn't want to come on the day. They just don't want to see it. It's too embarrassing for them. They think it's a disease and can be cursed. I want to say to all the people going through the same thing that it's okay. We're going to show the whole world that you can be gay and Muslim. This is honestly such a huge leap forward. I never understand people who are homophobic. People love who they love and no one should be judging that. It's amazing that this huge step forward has now been made. We wish these two all the happiness in the world. Next. So it's officially happened. The second verse has been released. If you're a part of the YouTube world and you don't live under a rock then you know what I'm talking about. But for anyone who's like what? The second verse is part two of a song and music video created by Logan Paul about his brother Jake Paul. This song was called The Fall of Jake Paul and it has 52 million views. Yeah, the Logan doesn't mess around. The first verse ended with a glimpse of Jake's Paul ex Alyssa Violet and the internet went crazy. Apparently the second verse was so bad and hurtful towards Jake that Logan said he would never release it and gave the only copy he had of the song to Jake. However, shortly after a fan leaked the lyrics. Then the two brothers continued to prank each other and Jake went a little too far when he made a billboard sign of Logan advertising his merch. Logan was pissed and said that Jake had 48 hours to take down the billboard otherwise he would release the second verse. So Jake did what any sensible 20 year old YouTuber would do and this past weekend he released the second verse himself. I mean anything for those views right? After Jake released it fans went nuts and then Logan released it on his channel as well. I mean he couldn't let his brother make all of the profit right? Take a look. Oh, oh, that's Violet, used to be your chick. Now she in the low gang and you know she on my team. 
team. Next, we are all pretty familiar with the crazy popular card game Cards Against Humanity. Well, if you thought this game couldn't get any better, you were wrong because soon they are coming out with a Disney version. I think I just found my new favorite card game. Cards Against Humanity posted to their Facebook page some of the Disney themed cards. Of course this was an accident and it was quickly deleted, but some people saw and grabbed a screenshot. Some of the cards read as followed. Thanks to Disney I have unrealistic expectations about blank. Oh, that is a good one. Or next on the list of Disney's unnecessary sequels, blank 2. So obviously just like the original card game, this is not suitable for children. But it's very suitable for adults who love Disney, which is pretty much everyone. Sadly since the screenshot was deleted, there's no hard proof that this will actually be a thing. But if the company is smart, then they should come out with this because so many people would probably be interested in playing it. I mean yeah, it could be considered kinda inappropriate, but it all depends on what cards you put down, so that's on you. And if you're a fan of the game, then you already know what you're getting into. Well there you go, that's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.